Greetings, tourists. My name is Fish. I'm an associate producer here at Skydance Interactive. Today, I will be guiding you through some brand new content for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2, Retribution. In Chapter 1, you enter a walker-infested New Orleans as a tourist in search of supplies, but you quickly make a name for yourself after becoming entangled in the warring factions vying for power. In the latest installment of the survival horror franchise, you'll continue your tour of New Orleans. Only now, resources have dwindled, a new terrifying threat stalks the streets, and the tower pushes for absolute control of the region. As we play through, I'll point out all the awesome new features we've added since Chapter 1. The first location we arrive at is Sunny's Pawn Shop. In Sunny's shop, you'll be able to update mission tasks and even trade for necessary supplies through a sliding drawer beneath the counter. We got ourselves a problem, tourists, with the Padre. Sunny is a fast-talking wheeler and dealer with ambitions to start an exile trade network, a system that opens up more options for gathering and crafting essential survival gear. But this could be catastrophic. The Pawn King is intent on preserving his trade network and sends you on a mission to talk some sense into another new character, Father Carter. As you leave the pawn shop, you'll jump into a completely new feature of the game, Night Mode. The tourist never traveled at night in Chapter 1, but now we'll see if you can handle the dark. With Night Mode comes new rules for scavenging and exploration. Not to mention even more terrifying encounters with even larger crowds of walkers. The undead are sensitive to light, which makes your choices all the more precarious. The difficulty is high, but so is the reward. If you master Night Mode, you'll be rewarded with backpacks full of loot and essential scavenging materials for your crafting station. Your powerful UV flashlight and new features like flares will help guide you through the darkness and provide nice little distractions for those persistent walkers. After returning to the skiff, you'll travel to the next phase of your mission. As you can see from the loading screen, Chapter 2 starts on Day 70 with a new warning. Tower presence has increased. Finally, we arrive in a brand new location, the iconic French Quarter of New Orleans. Chapter 2 brings you out of the suburbs and into the city, with massive new maps full of nooks and crannies to explore. As the tower continues to secure its dominance over the region, you will run into heavily armed guards patrolling the streets for dissidents. As always, it's your choice whether to go in guns blazing or sneak by quietly. Heard something. Your face here? After all you've done? By the hotel's entrance, a fallen tower elite has left some gear to scavenge, including a new item you'll instantly love, the laser sight. This essential new tool fits most firearms and means more accurate headshots and less ammo wasted. Now, it's time to check out the Hotel Eclair. Walking through, we can see a few different routes open for exploring. But I think I hear some singing in this direction. Let's go check it out. Is someone dying? No other nope. Looks like we found Father Carter imbibing at the hotel bar. Oy. Besides being a miserable drunk, Father Carter is a preacher of unity in this chaotic city. Mama said nothing. She just walked away. Thought it was a victory. Yeesh, this guy is on edge. But maybe you can help him. The Padre sends you on a mission to find a hidden speakeasy. If you find his mother's ashes, maybe it'll push him to work with Sonny and fix the schism that divides Nola. A speakeasy lies beyond it. She'll be in there. A little exploring reveals a hidden safe code. That's gotta be useful. Also lying about is a new crafted firearm, the submachine gun. 
Light and powerful, this bad boy will come in handy for combat, especially when you need to dual wield multiple weapons. Let's give a little wave to the Padre, and we're off to find the speakeasy. Ooh, another laser sight. Hey, it even attaches to the bow. Chapter 2 Retribution puts the story directly in the hands of the player. For the sake of the demo, we've included guide arrows, but for the final experience, you'll be on your own. Walker on me! You choose where to go, who to kill, and what tasks to prioritize. Explore the famous streets of the French Quarter, a sprawl of shuttered businesses, alleys, and hidden lore. Unlocking their secrets will be the key to your survival. Looks like a pretty nice place to party. Before all the walkers moved in. Remember, this is the apocalypse, and every aspect of this game immerses you in that reality. Run too much, and you'll need to stop and refuel. Make too much noise, you'll attract walkers and humans alike. The 3D audio keeps you attuned to your surroundings and the dangers lurking around every corner. Somewhere in these streets is a secret entrance to that speakeasy. We have to unlock it with the coin provided by Father Carter. As cool as the secret entrance is, we don't want it to be that easy for you. So let's jump ahead. And we're inside. Pretty dark, but let's investigate. Looks like we got some broken speakers. But even better, looks like we found the chainsaw, the premier melee weapon of Chapter 2 Retribution. In case of Walker Horde, rip motor cord, pull trigger, and be sure to wield with two hands. Let's find a slot to store this so we can use it later. I guess we should check out these vents. Something is glowing on the other side there. Might be the ashes Father Carter is looking for. Now this looks like a speakeasy. With a bunch of rowdy patrons. I think our submachine gun should take care of that. It's hard to find peace and quiet when walkers keep dropping from the upper levels. Falling walkers will be a common occurrence in Chapter 2, so keep an eye on them. They may be clumsy, but breaking a leg won't stop them from chasing after you. The door leading to our objective appears to be bolted shut. We'll have to find a way to release these locks. Excuse me, sir? Sir, do you know a way in here? Um, excuse me, sir. No? Okay. Over here, we got a lever labeled Door Systems. Let's give it a try. Ah, crap, it exploded. Lights turned on, at least. And so did some music. That can't be good. Music will clearly attract walkers, and we still need to find a way to open those locks. Whoa! And there goes the door! Seems like a perfect time to test out the chainsaw. Oh, feels like you're holding a real machine in your hands. The controllers vibrate in sync with the motor, and the haptics respond on impact, so you feel like the blade is getting stuck and you have to rip through. Dang, these walkers just keep coming. It's gotta be the music. There's always a different path you can take to complete a mission. We could keep searching for another button or lever, but I don't know how long I can last with this endless horde. The music? The speakers? Huh. I wonder... Hey! I can hear it got quieter in this section after shooting out that speaker. I gotta get rid of these. 
Each map is built with 3D spatial audio, so you can actually follow your ears. Gaming audio has never been more accurate. Too bad that means the walkers have good hearing too. Ah, I can hear music upstairs. Let's go check it out. Oh, safe. Seems like exploring has paid off. Let's pull up that code from earlier. And voila! We finally get to use another new weapon, the crafted sawed-off shotgun. It's got a beautiful lightweight design that makes it a quick draw with a powerful punch. Now we can double wield a shotgun and a sidearm. Or a shotgun and a sword. The possibilities are endless. I feel like I've almost got all the speakers. It's definitely much quieter out here and the walker horde is thinning out. More walkers falling from the ceiling. You know, for a secret underground speakeasy, this place is pretty popular. And I think that's it. I don't hear anything else. What do you know? Another lever. Let's hope this doesn't release a bunch more walkers. Ah, I can finally scavenge in peace. Looks like the speakeasy manager left behind all his money. And his medicine. Don't mind if I do. Alright, back to the original mission. Let's see if that door is open downstairs. Green light, that's a good sign. I guess this is what Father Carter wanted. Before I go home, let's fill up this backpack with as much loot as possible. Nothing like crafting weapons and food at the end of a long day of slicing walker heads. Crafting options have greatly expanded in Chapter 2 with more recipes, materials, and even a new set of crafting tables. Okay, I think we can go back to the resting place. Hold on a second. Hey, I got your crucifix, Padre! Uh oh, Garrick, the Axeman we've heard about. I doubt a chainsaw can take down this bloodthirsty giant, hell-bent on only one thing. Retribution. This has been just a taste of the expansive new story and world built by Skydance Interactive in partnership with Skybound. We can't wait for you to get your hands on this game and explore the possibilities of this new and intricate chapter. Thanks for watching.